Hi, this is Fabian with Painting Artist. We're here in Port St. Lucie painting um, interior of a home. Actually painted all the walls, ceiling, doors, and trim. We're doing all of that. Uh, what we did is we painted the ceilings already, got the trim done. Um, I have these doors set up in the garage so we can, uh, we've made a little spray booth here. That way we can spray all the doors out, leave them alone, not worry about them getting touched and messed with. Um, I'm going to spray the first coat on, uh, let them dry for a little bit, come back put the second coat on them. What I'm using is a fine finish low pressure tip. It's a 308 it's from Graco. It's their new line of tips. They're fantastic. You use less pressure. Um, paint comes out looking like glass. So watch this work. As you see, what I'm doing is I'm spraying. I'm making sure that when I spray, I come above the door when I do my U-turn, and I go below the door when I do my U-turn. The reason is for that is um, I used to make the mistake of coming up, turning around too early, and what happens is it leaves a really heavy spot of wet paint along the top, and it tends to run. Um, we always stay a good distance, especially when you're spraying any type of door, door paint well, enamel paint as well. This is an oil modified uh, water based paint from Benjamin Moore. And even the Pro Classics paint from Sherwin. It's very expensive, high end paint. Um, but if you have too thick, it seems to run because it allows, it sets on itself so it leaves a glass like finish. Um, it's good to stay. I always found that it's better to, when you're spraying doors in trim especially, it's better to put on lighter coats instead of putting on heavy coats. We'll come through. I put, I'll put three light coats if need be. Typically with two light coats it works out, but if I get too close to the door, if I'm six inches away, ten inches away, it will run. Best thing to do is keep at least a foot away. I tend to stay about 14 to 15 inches away um, just by looking at it, and that gives me uh, confidence knowing that it's not going to be running. As I mentioned, it's better to put light coats on, you can always add, but when you start taking away paint that's running, it's a pain in the butt. So, here we go.
Another thing to keep in mind whenever you're spraying doors is, I like to call it a robot arm. I try my best to keep my arm directly straight. I don't like to pivot up or down when I'm doing doors or trim. That way I'm getting an even coverage throughout the entire door. There's no high spots or low spots. On walls, you got a little bit more uh, leeway because you're going to be back rolling walls. So if you get a heavy spot, you can just back roll it. Um, but for trimming doors, you don't really want to back roll anything. So if you watch my uh, arm, I try to keep it as even as possible. That's it, what we'll do, we'll leave these doors alone, um, let them dry out, give them time to dry, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Um, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to paint this door here, because we have already have everything prepped out. And uh, I think this door of paint, this door looks nice and good for everybody. Um, just one second while I get it. try to do is before I do paint, if there's little runs from ex existing painters, I try my best to get them up. I mean, we can't make doors perfect unless I'm hired to refinish the doors. I mean, we can remove little things like I just did there, but a lot of the times the doors are in such bad shape that we can't really do nothing for them. Other than clean them up a little bit, make sure there's no runs where they shouldn't be. All right. second coat on them. I mean they look good with one coat on them. The customer paid for two coats so we're putting two coats on them. Um, and especially if you're using a good paint like the one, the Benjamin Moore Advanced, it's better to have a nice millage, a good thickness of the paint on there because although it looks good, um, you want to be able to wipe it down and you want to have the properties of the paint that it does call for which is able to wipe it, clean it, won't thing up. If we just have a real light mist coat on there, um, it's not going to hold up as well as putting two good coats on it. So. Call us here. This is Painting Artist. Uh, have yourself a good day.